skaters. I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Group Roller Skates. And I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to bring you the video I like to call Skate Pretty. Because in every skater's life, there's just a moment when you're like, honey, I just want to look beautiful on skates. So let's do it. This video is perfect for the beginner skater, for the recreational skater, for someone who's got some moves. Because this is going to be part one and we're gonna take it nice and easy and then I'm gonna film part two where we're gonna amp it up a little bit but all in the mission in the goal of looking pretty on your skates today's video is brought to you by flippers roller boogie palace located in London England if you know you know this place is amazing it just opened up just a month ago it is the most incredible roller rink realistically I have ever been to. So I am going to link them down below so you guys can check it out. But if you're on it and you're like, I gotta see it right now, go to flippers.world and you will see all the amazingness. And look forward to a video podcast that's coming soon where I tell you in detail how amazing this rink is. All right, skaters, so let's get started with our tutorial on how to skate pretty. So I'm gonna teach you this little three cone drill and I don't even wanna call it a drill. I think it's bad to call it a drill because it's so pretty, right? We're trying to skate pretty here. So you don't even have to have cones. You can replace these markers with shoes, three dogs, a couple of kids. I don't care what you got to use, whatever you got, put it out there. And they're just going to be markers for where you're going with this little combination footwork spinny little thing. Okay. Come on, let's go. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Now, as all good figure skaters do, you want to start with some sort of pose. Look, I don't care, use your imagination. But for some of you, you may just wanna be like this, okay? Something that elongates the neck, opens up the chest, has the arms nice and long and lean, right? Of course, I gotta suck in my snack area. A little bit right tighten it all up right so I'm gonna start just like this now for when I lead off I'm gonna skip the first cone and I'm gonna go second cone and third cone okay so I'm going to skate and I am simply going to bubble out I'm gonna do a little spread eagle I'm gonna drop a toe and do a pivot spin and I'm gonna hold this pose pulling it in all tight looking upward, you know, with optimism and beauty. Okay, so that's kind of what we're working with. Does that sound good to you? I mean, it's not too difficult, right? I think everyone could grab a little piece of this, all right? Let's go do it again. So we're gonna stand up straight, shoulders level, chin up. I'm looking optimistically into my future, sucking in my snack area, knees a little bit soft as I push off going to avoid this first cone. I'm going to push out. I'm going to go left, right, left down, turn around. I'll push back, around, right, left, right down, turn around. So you can go back and forth, back and forth, all right? Now, as always, I'd like you to go both directions so that you learn how to be a skater that can go both ways. But for some of you, you're definitely gonna be like, look dirty, I gotta go my good way and my up and coming way can wait. No problem. So again, as you take off, you're gonna bypass the first one, drop down and get ready. Now pick a side, you either go left and right, left, and turn or you take it from this way and go right left drop right and turn okay either way doesn't matter to me but if you alternate it it'll be really good some of the things that seem like they're not a big deal here that really really matter number one as i've gone over it is your beginning pose when we're trying to look pretty on our skates, okay? First off, I have to do all this ridiculous adjusting of my clothing. 
Then I got to breathe in, breathe out, and get ready. Now, when I push off, I'm trying to push off nice and strong. That means I have to take my body weight and push it down through the floor. As I come for this, drop it down and bring it in. Then push down, around, down, and around. This little bit in the middle, a lot of times when we do something like this, skaters will often just kind of bypass this. They skate through this and just, and just go, yeah, this doesn't matter. But it does. It matters because almost 100% of the time, it's that spread eagle and then the pivot turn at the end, which your mind is thinking, can I do this? I'm not really sure. This little middle bubble out, scissor out type thing helps you get into the rhythm. It's like we skate, 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 go down and out, up and in, down and out and up and in and turn, okay? It helps you with the rhythm of everything. Let's do it again, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Skate, skate, and I'm thinking down, and I go left, right, hold, drop, left, pivot, turn, boom. Okay, then I look back here and I said, let's do it again. Skate, 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 down and out. I go right, left, right, and turn. All right, skaters, let's talk about the pivot turn specifically. I have another video that goes into this in detail, as well as the spread eagle, which I will link below. But let's talk about some very easy tips to make sure that that looks good. Can avoid the first one for now down and out okay left right first of all suck it in turn drop your toe and lead with your arm my head is looking right here when i turn okay that's telling my whole body to go 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 let's do it again so here we go i push down suck it up drop Weight over here. You can stick your toe into the ground. Carve. When I carve, I am dropping the toe closest to the cone. So as I come around, I'm like this, right? Toe closest to the cone. Drop that other foot, inside edge. Okay, essentially, I'll do it again, and I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit. You're gonna see both of my knees go inward. That helps me keep that turn nice and tight, okay? All righty, here we go. Down and out, left, right, hold, turn, drop, in, 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 in. Do you see this? Boom! Knees inward. I'm on an inside edge here. I'm on an inside edge here. Okay? And I'm holding it tight, 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 all the way up. Channeling inner beauty. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to skate and skate. Ready? Down, down. Right, left. For those of you who like to turn that way, that's a possibility. Left, right, drop left and turn. Skate out, right, left and turn. Guys, I really, really hope you try this and I really hope you put your own spin on it. I promise you, if you practice this, back and forth, back and forth, and you really pay attention to doing it one direction and then the other, you will get so good at this. But realistically, I'm not gonna say it's easy. It is difficult, especially if you are a beginner skater. So if you're just getting into this and you're like, I cannot do that pivot spin at the end, let's just change it up and make it a tiny bit easier, okay? We could do this. We can go over, over, left, right, bend both knees, drop down, bend both knees, and turn. 
okay? All I did was highly exaggerate the moves that I already did. And I kept everything nice and low. That way you don't feel like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be difficult, okay? So again, it's one and two and one and two. Go left, right, drop down, spin around, okay? If you're saying, no, 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 I'm not gonna even drop down, when you come at it, just two foot spin, two foot spin, boom, okay? Now, skaters, if you're like, I got this, it's no problem, work on it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, so I know that you can do both sides, and then come back for part two, where I'm gonna add a little onto the front, I'm gonna add a little in the middle, and I'm gonna add a little on the end, so you can skate even prettier. All right, skaters, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along this journey with me, and we'll see you later. For now, go practice. So skaters, did you see my little students in the background? Come on over, come on over. You gotta say hi to everyone in YouTube land. Hi. Say hi. What's your name? Phoebe. This is Phoebe and this is? Maddie. Maddie, <laughs> Phoebe and Maddie, amazing. Future superstars, yes. Now who's your coach? Um, my, uh, Mrs. Allie. Mrs. Allie, and who's your coach? Um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Amazing. Little skaters here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yes, of course, right? Do you watch the Dirty School of Skate? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you watch it? Okay, good. Okay, say bye to everybody. Bye. bye. Tell them to go practice. Go practice. Go practice. <laughs> Perfect.